Good morning. I'm here at Bakersfield National Cemetery in Arvin, California. The time is approximately 11.30. We have a service to do at 12.30. And I'm just using a little time to walk around and checking out the grave markers, see who did what, what time in there and all that. Uh, I'll just do a turn the phone around here so y'all can get a good view of this. My truck's right there. The black truck way out there. Well, I've been doing this honor guard for a little over a month now. I think I've only missed two days out of, I don't know how many funerals, because they stagger at times. So I did miss two days due to my VA appointments in Fresno. So other than that, I've been here just about every day driving all the way from Visalia, California. Um, I just really like being here because it's just, it's quiet. And I don't have any, don't have any problems. I plan to move here to Bakersfield hopefully soon. This way, I don't have to worry about spending so much in gas money. I just, I just spent, I just did my bills the other day for the month, and the total of my gas money for coming out here came to four hundred and ninety dollars, nearly five hundred dollars. And you know what? That doesn't bother me one bit, because I'm here to do what I got to do, honor the veteran. Money does not matter when it comes to stuff like that I'm very still very patriotic for my service and very honored to do honor guard with these uh, other veterans I'm with right now and uh, they're the heroes I was just a peon dumb quartermaster so these guys are, I'm with right now are the actual heroes they, they went and fought in the wars all that so uh I was just a supply guy at the time. <laughs> so while they were fighting at the time, I was still in diapers. So that tells you right there. So I'm very grateful to be around these other veterans that I'm doing honor guard with. They like me and I like them and already we're like family. So that is, that is very, that is very nice, very greatly. Very grateful. <sighs> Today we have a service for a Frank Adams who served in the U.S. Army like I did. And uh, like I said, the funeral starts in another hour, 1230. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just walking around and seeing the grave markers and enjoying the peace out here up in the mountains. Very, 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 very peaceful. Too bad my neighborhood can't be like that anymore. It used to be, but that's why I'm moving too. I'm hearing too much of that, uh, rap shit playing all the time in my neighborhood. Used to not be that way, but it is now. I mentioned younger kids moving in my area. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I'm moving here to Bakersfield. I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna try to get something my, that I want, you know. And uh, 
my sister Joan. She pretty much wanted that house. And uh, I was fine with that at the time, but now that these younger kids are moving in and everyone's renting houses now, it's just, it's turning into a little, I call, I'm starting to call Visalia a little Fresno because that's what it's getting to be. Uh, all the rap shit playing all the time. I can't go rap shit. I just, I don't like, I don't like noises. So I don't like loud noises. Um, but like I said, that's, again, that's why I'm coming out here. Enjoy my peace and solitude up here to do my funerals to honor the veterans out here. That's my thing right now. That's my main priority. So, again, I'm very honored. And, uh, oh, I didn't see my, my friend came up here, Ben. I need to wave him down if he sees me. <laughs> so, I guess he he was going straight, so he never got a chance to see me out here. I'm way out here right now. I gotta head back over there. Uh, like I said, I was just out here, out here admiring the, the peace for these grateful veterans that passed on with dignity. And then again, I'm very, very honored and I'm very grateful to be here. I don't want to get too into that because it gives me that lump in my throat and uh, I don't want to start sounding all weird about it but again I'm, I'm just honored so and do the uh by the way i do what's called the i present the block we have our uh what i was told by the guys here the other, other veterans we have what's called the uh they make a block they drill nine holes in it and they put the uh empty shells after we fire they put them inside this block and it has a plaque with the name on it of the person that passed on and we present it i now present it to the loved one and I do the speech and everything. Um, and I'm very, again, I'm very grateful and honored that I'm getting to do that. So anyway, but I guess we'll discuss that later. Anyway, take care of y'all.